Good morning, traders. This is Frank Charlie with RJO Futures in Chicago coming to you on Thursday morning, July 12th with your grain market morning commentary. Currently, we have grains trading higher across the board. Corn, 18 to 20 cents higher right now. Soybeans, just five higher. And wheat, also about 20 higher. In the outside markets, it looks like a big risk off day. The dollar's up, the treasuries are up a little bit. Uh, gold's down about 20, crude's down $1.30 or so. Uh, the equities are down, we're in earnings season now. And you have to ask yourself this question. Yesterday after the USDA report, we put in new contract highs. Um, we ended the day sharply lower. Do we have a key reversal here? And we're gonna have to wait and see how things close today to get a confirmation of that, or you know, is that uh, technical action yesterday uh, negated by a higher close today? So that's really what we're gonna have to wait and see. Do we get a lower close or do we get a higher close um, versus where the market was yesterday? So, um, you know, the fundamentals haven't changed here. We still have um, some concerns about the uh, coming supply with the new crop. Um, it's very hot and dry. The yields are definitely getting hurt. There is some irreversible damage. The full extent of the damage uh, will take some time to really figure out. But if we continue in this hot and dry pattern, and you know, for the next six to 10 days, it looks to, to be mostly dry, mostly hot, especially the areas that need it the most. Um, you know, the, these uh, any pullbacks in the market look like they're gonna find support, the buyers step up. And I think it's important though that, you know, I haven't talked about the outside markets in a while, but that we focus on those outside markets. Look, China really is slowing down, the Eurozone is a mess, and our economy is, is you know, in a very weak recovery. So um, if the outside markets, uh, you know, get crushed, we have some sort of meltdown there, I don't think the grains are gonna be able to, you know, sustain these these uh, high levels that we're at right now. Um, higher prices are here um, for a reason. They're trying to, um, you know, control demand, reduce demand, uh, because they're concerned about supply. But if the economy starts to slow down, um, you know, then there'll be concerns about demand and the market will go lower. So. Um, this morning we did see uh, in the weekly export sales better than expected demand on um, the weekly uh, export sales. So, you know, right now it looks like uh, these higher prices are warranted again. How we close this afternoon um, will give us a better indication if we're going to go through um, a, a little bit more of a downside correction or if we maybe do a little sideways uh, after yesterday's big move. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday the 13th, is also the last trading day for the July contract, so keep that in mind. Uh, watch the outside markets, keep an eye on the weather, and please feel free, give me a call. It's 800-826-4124. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.